Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today, as you can tell by the title, it is my big match preview. Um, this weekend, there are a couple of interesting games, but I'm going to do uh, Arsenal vs Man United, which you can tell by the thumbnail and the title. Um, you know what, Arsenal, VAR could have been... Um, Fendable this week for Arsenal um, against Tottenham. Harry's Kane was offside um, prior to conceding their goal. A Banyang, um, I don't think it was a penalty. I know some of you Arsenal fans are going to give me a stick for that, but that's my opinion. Um, on the Man United other end, it's all going to plan, but I do play PSG prior to this Arsenal game. So, you know, it's going to be an interesting game. Um, it's had some interesting um, battles during the years, especially at Highbury, especially that um, argument that Roy Keane had with a couple of the Arsenal players in the tunnel. If you don't want to talk about it, here's a picture. But, um, you know, it's had it's had its really good battles during the years. Um, do I think it's going to be another good... I think, it, you know, we're both finishing, trying to get in the top four. Um, after Arsenal drawing on the weekend against Tottenham, Man United did creep back into the top four with, with a win. Um, you know, but it's going to be one of them things, I think, where... It's going to take a mistake um, to really open up a game. Um, let's move over to the main night then just for a minute. Um, you know, Anna Garcia, what a terrific job he's doing. Um, Paul Pogba started to work, look like the money that main night bought, him, uh, bought it for. Uh, Herrera starts coming in. You know, um, Anagar Solskjaer has managed to bring that Man United team together. Um, you know, prior to Jose Mourinho, Van Gaal and David Moyes. Um, I would say the same for Arsenal, but I can't get how they're selling um, Alan Ramsey. Um, not Alan, Alan Ramsey, sorry. Um... And yet they're playing him. Um, that's confused me quite a lot, you know, prior to this game. I think he will plan this game as well. Um, no disrespect to this player, but if you're going to sell anyone, I will put it down to Wurzel. Um As I said, no disrespect. But, you know, it's playing a player that they've set my are selling. Um, you know, it's gonna. It frustrates me a bit when you sell players, but you just, uh, keep on playing them. Um, as I said at the top of this video, Arsenal could have done with VAR against Tottenham, but yet again, eleven out of the twenty out of the twenty Premier League this year's clubs voted against it. But, but it will be for next season. So, you know, it's going to be an interesting season with the VAR. I'm expecting a lot of rule changes um, prior to the next Premier League season. Um, you know, um, what I would like to see from the FA with VAR is if you dive in the box and you get caught, that should be an upgraded to a red, not a yellow. I think the FA should really stamp on diving and stuff like that. I'm not a fan of diving, I never have been. Um, so, you know, as I said, VAR is really looking, um, I'm really looking forward to it coming next season. Um, but anyway, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. And ciao for now.